Hey guys, I'm Rupi here back with another video and today we're going to be doing some Python coding. So what is Python? So let's take a look at Wikipedia and what it has to offer. So I really like to understand the background of what I'm learning. So let's take a look at this mythology. Um, so Python seems to come from Greek mythology, um, some sort of dragon that battled the god Apollo. Here we can see Apollo killing Python. All right, so this looks like some really great content. So um, let's pull out snipping tool and do a quick capture. Um, I like to use um, this code editor. It's called MS Paint. It's pretty good. It's pretty robust. Developed by Microsoft in 1985. You can um, run any code you want really fast. And one thing I do know about Apollo is that Apollo went into space and Apollo is actually a rocket um, built by NASA so I think we got to incorporate the Saturn V rocket into our Python code it's only right um, so here are the basic core components of Python this is what I like to use as boilerplate to start all my Python programming um, but sometimes um, there's some bugs that happen in the code and it's usually pretty hard to find the bugs here if you don't add any debugging tools so um, Some great debugging tools. I like to use raid um, Raid is a pretty good um, Tool you can get it pretty much anywhere at a really cheap price um, So let's just capture some raid here and throw it in our code um, It's really great but sometimes one is not enough. Gotta put in some more. Gotta kill all the bugs in the code. Great, so this is an awesome start. Um, let's first save. Always forget to save. You never want to lose your important files. Um, so let's open up terminal. Let's get this started. So to run our Python code, we actually have to type Python. Um, this starts up the background in the computer and there's this function that can convert this image, I mean code, into um, some more code that the computer will understand. It's actually called hash. So we can hash pretty much anything. Um, we can hash hash browns. Um, this just creates a huge jumbled mess of numbers. Um, kind of similar to how hash browns look in real life, just a bunch of jumbled stuff together. And basically now, this isn't the code we want. The code we want is in um, Python. So let's just do hash python.jpg. Um, this is the exact code that we're building here. Um, now, this is code that is actually executable by the computer and something that the computer can actually understand. This is what the what we built in paint was slightly too complicated. And this really hashes it and really breaks it down. Um, so besides the hash, we also um, need some other components. Um, so it's kind of hard for Python to really understand what's going on. So we have to uh, break it down. So we have to say um, space, dragon, Apollo, add some um, keywords in order to find out what the actual um, code is. And as you can see here, we actually need to do this in two separate um, windows. That's because these two are actually different blocks. Um, this is going to be how we're going to be running our code. Um, these are two blocks that are actually going to be in our blockchain. The blockchain is going to be where we're going to put the code and where it's going to run. Um, so if you if we put these two blocks apart, it's actually the computer won't be able to recognize it. So in the blockchain, to form a connection, we actually have to um, make sure that they're, these two windows are touching each other. Um, this is a great position. Um, the computer is able to link these two together in an actual chain. Um, so now to finalize this hash, let's just type blockchain. Um, so this code is actually compiled from this image, from um, these indices that are for the distributed cache. Um, we can talk about that later, um, but this is pretty much the result of all our efforts so far. Um, so how do we know this actually works? So software is something that requires a lot of rigorous testing. 
um, to really understand. There's no bugs, it runs smoothly, it's great for the user. Um, so let's just pull up um, my favorite testing framework. It's actually called Wheat Code. Um, so this is where we're really going to run the tests for our Python code. So just pull up any old problem on Wheat Code. Um, blah, 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 they're asking for all this Python code. And I'm just gonna pop this in. We already did all the work. We set up the blockchain, we set up the NUMA inter interconnect architecture and just gonna hit submit. And it's judging, uh, let's just look at the submissions. Oh, runtime error? No, never mind. I think I think there's a bug on leak code. Oh wait, no, it looks like it looks like our code is accepted here. It looks like we're accepted. Um great job. 19 out of 19 test cases passed. Runtime five thousand milliseconds perfect so it looks like our python code did a pretty good job um looks like we are the 10 percent um i believe that's what i mean not actually beats i think we are top 10 percent so honestly this is a great start to python programming if you want to learn more keep following this channel it's great content coming out soon all right thanks for watching guys